Hello and welcome to the New York Sports Show, your number one to own New York Sport Podcast. I'm your host, Dom Nikonoweski. Well, folks, this is a video that really saddens me to make. Masha Hill Tanaka most likely not going to come back to playing baseball, especially in pinstripes, as he is advancing the negotiations to return to playing in Japan. As <laughs> this is hurts. We love Tanaka, especially Yankees fans. We love Tanaka. I don't think there's a single Yankee fan out there that dislikes Tanaka in any way. Yankees getting within the last 10 days, two-time Cy Young winner, Corey Kluber, and two-time uh, Tommy John pitcher, Jameson Talian. And with that, that essentially just seals Tanaka returning back to Yankee Stadium. And and it really is sad. Seven years he's been in the MLB, all those seven years with the Yankees. Free agent, he said that it's either Yankees or Japan. And obviously the Yankees do, uh, do not want him back. So with that, he will most likely go back to playing J in, J in Japan. And may I just add, you know, Tanaka, he wasn't just uh, just an average pitcher. You know, he he did good on the Yankees. And with the problems he had, he he did great through them. You know, he never really complained or anything like that. With his career, 32 years old. Still has a long career left with playing on the Yankees. 78 wins, 46 losses, 3.74 career ERA. Now, postseason, I feel like if the Yankees do use an excuse on why they did not resign Tanaka, they'll use the postseason numbers. And I'll admit, they're not the best postseason numbers. 5-4 and four in the postseason with a 3.3 ERA. Not the best at all. But you can also add that really no Yankees pitch has really excelled in the postseason as the Yankees have not made it to the World Series since 2009. Way long before Tanaka even came into the MLB, I should add. So you cannot really say that as an option on why the Yankees did not choose on to re-sign in Masahiro Tanaka. And I think it's stupid. I'm not just saying that because I like Tanaka as a player or anything like that. He is just such a vital part to the starting rotation. Never missed a single game in his career. Solid player. And you're letting him go. Wow. You know, it it just it it's just a very questionable move, I think. Now, most likely he will be to on to his uh, original team. You know, the OG team, the Wakudan Eagles for the Nippon uh, Professional Baseball League. Good luck to him. If he does do that, he is expected to receive a uh, offer before the end of this week. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated with that. Like I said, uh, I'm sorry that I did not get this out soon. I was just really debating on whether or not I should make this because I know not that many details have emerged in this. And I want to try to get you guys as many facts all at once. So I don't need to make a lot of videos because I don't like doing that. I like to get, to get you guys all the facts in one video. Cause I don't do clickbait or anything like that. I don't want this channel to be like that. So I'm sorry that did take me a little bit longer to get this video out. And, of course, I will keep you guys updated if, if, if there is any other news. Comment down below what you guys think. I'm your host, Simon Conrad. Let's give the New York Sports Show. I'm signing out.